All right, let's build out some cool nails. So I do already have um, nails on. I have them very short, but I feel like building them out. So I'm taking my Mia Secret Forms and I am just placing them on. And since my nails are already built out, I don't have to cut them because they slide right under there without any issues. And I hope that was not blurry. We know the drill. Since I already have nails built out, I'm primarily focusing this gel towards the outside. because that's where we are going to extend it, full curing this. I mean, go ahead and grab your gel, and we are going to do a slip layer. So I like to put a nice, thin layer down, and this is going to go over the entire nail, and then over, whoop, piece of glitter, the free edge. Okay, so I like to take a larger bead at this point, and put it on the free edge. And we are going to build out our nail. Okay. And I am going to cure that. I have that cured. I am just going to come in and do one more kind of thin layer. I'm not really building this up at this point. I am just making it even with my current nail. So I'm just building up the tip ever so slightly. As I say, I'm not building it up, but I am like, but I'm making it super flat. All right, remove that form, and then this is what we are left with. And I'm going to build out the rest of the nails. Okay, again, fold over. Since I do have my nails built out, I don't have to worry about cutting the form, like I previously said. Taking a gelish foundation and applying it all over the nail and making sure to get on the outside. Take your gel, I'm doing a slip layer. All over the nail. And then I'm going to come in with a larger bead. And this is going to be over the edge. And then since we have that slip layer on, we can work our way back and that way it connects the two pieces. So this is not connected, that's connected. And that allows us to do that. Okay. So now I'm just building it up ever so slightly to even out that divot where you extended the nail. Okay. Ooh. Make sure you don't get any on your skin.
I'm just going to have fun with this kind of opaly design in my head. I have this from Magpie, Jillian. I have this, which has a pink. I'm going to take some gel paints and stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of layer this along with my pink one step. So I just did a rough, rough file to get the general-ish shape that I wanted. Um, and then now we're gonna go in and just add. Literally doing random. I have no rhyme or reason. I'm gonna take an ink and I'm going to just go along that bad boy. Now these ones do take acetone to remove and this was to really disperse that first layer, kind of just get a few white lines, taking that pink again, I'm going to encapsulate the rest. Okay. I probably could have done a few more layers, but I'm gonna do some layers on top as well, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, let's repeat the process.
up with a slow motion crew And we up in the cloudlands when people change but not us And we just chillin', kicking it, kissed by the sun Could be soaked to the skin in the mall soon I know she got the good vibes when seasons change But we're the same Even if I lost all my money The zero runs deep, honey And I don't need to speak a single word
gonna have to bear with me. There is no amount of cuticle oil that's going to help these dry fingers, but it's okay. We got there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is such a layered look and there's not really a way to go wrong. I just find layered looks to be my favorite because again, it's abstract. You can do whatever you want and there's no rhyme or reason. You literally do whatever you want. No joke, it always makes me so sad when I have to cut them off. Thank you guys so much for watching go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one bye bye